I hope whoever watching this, we can try to figure some legislation out. Maybe I just need to run for mayor or something. I don't know. <laughs> but what I think should happen with child support is, if I let's just say a thousand dollars, because it's an easy number, okay. right? If I give a thousand dollars a month, a percentage of that should go in a bank account. Right. Let's say the child's four. Right. Mm -hmm. So from four to 18, I think 18. And then if they go to school, 21. Right. Mm -hmm. So from four to, let's say, 18 or 21. 500, let's say 50 percent, 500 goes to you a month. Mm. And five hundred goes into an account for the month. Right. Yeah. Well, and, you know the state mm. got to take their little part out of it. So let's say the do. state take theirs, right? Mm -hmm. So let's say the state takes two hundred. Let's just say that. Mm -hmm. So now you get four hundred, and four hundred goes into mm -hmm. an account yeah. every month. And when that child turns nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, whatever, now they have that money that's been accumulating every month. Man, so you get that's a fine. lump sum check. Here's why. Because a lot of times when you pay child support, the child becomes 18, 19, whatever, and nothing else to show it, for it because the mama done spent it. Yeah. And it just cuts yeah. off. So yeah. now the child don't have from the daddy. He and they're like, man, you were never in my life. And da, da, da. However, if I'm paying mm. child support for you and a piece of it goes here where your mama can't touch it, nor you until you 20 or 21, mm. Before y'all get stirred up in these comments, the man said hypothetical, okay? This is actually a good plan. And if you don't think this is a good plan, to me, I think you're being a little selfish and you're beside yourself. Now he said hypothetical, he put out a hypothetical number. <clears throat> a lot of these women out here getting two to $400 a month. So I understand, you know, you got groceries, that might be the primary parent uh, who's taking care of the kids. You might not be around like that. Uh, let's just say on that aspect, that probably wouldn't be the best option for those type of mothers. But for the mothers out there that really make the bread and they can sustain a living, um, this is this is dope. I don't I don't see anything wrong with taking a fraction of the money, putting it somewhere. So when the child gets older and it's time for them to thrive out here and and be adulting out here, they'll have something to really sit on. Because you got to think about it from the other end, just like old boy said, when you got father, you got fathers out here that's busting their behinds, out here working overtime, doing everything they can because they don't want to get locked up because they own papers. And, uh, you know, it's for the need of the child. And let's be for real, man. We all adults out here. We're supposed to be out here uh, getting money anyway. We're supposed to be out here providing shelter anyway. Uh, it shouldn't be, it shouldn't come to a point where you lean on another adult at the end of the day to take care of your child, especially if that man is in the picture. If that man is in the picture and he's there all the time taking care of the kid, the kid at his house, the kid at your house and all that stuff, and you still complaining about, about no, I need all the money, I want to do, nah, man, that ain't it. Because, you know, like I said, brothers out here busting they behind, um, trying to make sure that the child gets what they need. And you mean to tell me on top of that? Well, how about you just send the child support money and then make extra and you create the savings account? Now that ain't right. Um, mama should be pouring into that savings as well. All right? And that's not trying to disparage any of the mothers out there that, that can't, that's not able to do so. But at the end of the day, I just think that's what's right and then it'll be less problems out here. The only problem, you know, it won't be no problems if the state start, 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 start kicking in and start, um, start uh, inserting those type of plans. It wouldn't, you know, it, 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 you wouldn't hear that much arguing then. Take that junk up with the government, take it up with the state, or go argue with them, don't argue with me. I don't make the rules, they do. But if a parent, you know, a smart thinking parent, a wise thinking parent, and they sit back and say, you know what, let's do this. A wise thinking father, he said, hey man, let, how about we put this together? Most of them mamas gonna say no. They gonna say no. No matter how much money they're making, a lot of majority of them will say no. So I understand y'all feel the way y'all feel. I understand the groceries, the lights, the rent, maybe childcare, you know, daycare and all the other stuff. I get it. But it does, it's just like, just like everything else. When you get paid from work, taxes come out. You gotta give it back to Uncle Sam. You know, t Uncle Sam gotta get his. Well, why can't a tax and a fraction come out for the kid? 
why should a brother have to work extreme overtime and dig into his finances to create a savings account? Now, I'm not saying that's all mothers, you know, all mothers uh, think this way, but why can't it be that way? Why can't it be inserted that way? We obviously know there's a flaw in the system. The system is flawed. It's flawed in many different ways, but it also benefits a lot of mothers out here as well because, you know, everybody got a different type of uh, situation. Like I said, for example, the father don't show up. He ain't never around. Uh, he been a, a, a bum. Hey man, you gotta take these lickings. But if you got a legitimate good father that's there for the kids or kid, I see no problem with this. Hell, even if it's $200 a month, hell, $5 come out. That five gonna add up. That seven gonna add up. Them $10 gonna add up. Depends on what you're making, you know what I'm saying, and your finances and your income. But hey man, y'all leave y'all comments in here, man. Y'all y'all say what y'all gotta say. I already know some folks gonna feel some type of way about this because this right here is a very touchy subject. But hey, hey, it is what it is. There's nothing wrong with starting a conversation. Y'all be so quick to say snatch these microphones away. And I, I feel that way as well, but on the other end, I don't feel like microphones should be taken away because whether well, a person is spitting boo-boo out their mouth or is spitting straight gems, I think that the microphones are needed because they let you know who you're dealing with. What y'all think about this right here, man? Please share, leave your comments, make sure you like, and I'll see y'all again. Mm.